here we have Israeli protesters uh, blocking aid into Gaza because they think they have the right to deny food to starving people. Uh, they don't realize, or they do realize, they're committing war crimes because uh, denying aid to people is a war crime. They march with determination to the Karam Shalom border as they have for six weeks. Their mission, to block international aid from crossing into Gaza. The border police are waiting for them. There is a danger of sniper fire and projectiles, the officer warns. I ask you to leave this place. What, are they like worried that the Israeli protesters are going to be killed by the snipers? But the protesters are undeterred made up mostly of hostage family members, former reservists, and settlers, they ignore... Uh, settlers are terrorists. They're illegal. Uh, they go to the West Bank and kill people and take their land. And what, the 700,000 uh, settlers in the West Bank are considered illegal, along with the 140-plus uh, settlements. Uh, anyone who says that the Israeli government is following international law is obviously lying when you bring that up ignore the order and change course to move closer to the crossing. So you can see the trucks with aid over there. The police had been trying to stop the protesters, but then they've just cut through this field and they're pushing ahead. How can anyone check these trucks and see what's inside? Where bags of rice that are meant to go to their children are filled with bullets. Under Right, because other nations sending aid to Palestinians in Gaza are filling bags of rice with bullets. That's so, that's so stupid a claim. For international law, it's Israel's obligation to make sure that the ordinary citizens of Gaza don't starve to death. And right now they are starving to death. Hamas is making it very difficult because Hamas is not allowing this to arrive in the... Well, the people that are trying to deny aid coming into Gaza is blaming Hamas for them trying to deny aid coming into Gaza. They're not holding it. They're not, not receiving it. But they'll do it. I'm telling you here and now. If we knew it's getting to children of Gaza, we would do it. This does not arrive at the doorstep. This. She is a liar. Even if she, uh, because she she knows uh, aid is getting to kids and stuff, but she wants to claim that's not happening. So can justify her denying babies food. Arrives into the tunnels of Hamas that are fighting us and holding our hostages. No one There's would. no evidence to support the idea that all of this aid is going to Hamas. Not to the. Yeah, there is no evidence whatsoever, but these terrorists love to make up lies. The rest of the population. This is intelligence only for terror. That's why they're getting. They should get only the minimum. Man, it's wild how terrorists are trying to claim babies are terrorists. Calories required to survive. They're starving. And she wants to starve babies, saying that they should only get the minimum amount to just function. Being to death. They are not starving. They are starving they to are death. Wow, now she's denying that they're, they're... She's trying to say that there aren't starving people in Gaza? How insane. May, you know what? The if they are starving, starving to death, give us back, give the hostages back. No, She supports collective punishment, which is, which is a war crime, and that's something Nazis did. She is no different than a Nazi. Single, a loaf of bread should go there till our hostages are coming back. To many people in the world, listening to what you're saying and what you're protesting for, it sounds like A, a contravention of international law and be incredibly callous in the face well yeah these people don't care about international law the israeli government has never cared about international law that's why there's so many illegal settlements in the west bank it's why the idea of murder Piece of an epic humanitarian catastrophe in the face of children starving to death people can't understand why anyone in their right mind would advocate for stopping aid. Hamas has no fair play, Hamas has no rules, Hamas is holding civilians. You know, even if... Okay, so what if Hamas is holding civilians? That doesn't mean you get to collectively punish uh, the Palestinians and kill babies just because of Hamas. Again, that's what Hamas did. There is a humanitarian crisis there, and there is not. 
even if there is, it's my right and my duty to prioritize the life of queer vivas. Well, she says it's her right to deny people aid during a humanitarian crisis. No, that's not your right. One year old babies are deserved over any Gazan baby. And with that, the interview. Well, she believes that Israeli babies are superior to Palestinian babies, showing she's a racist. You is over as the protesters press on. Previously, they've managed to block aid trucks from crossing. But on this day, the police have been given their orders and no one is getting through. I'm curious as to why uh, Biden doesn't put sanctions on the Israeli government for uh, the civilians uh, denying aid to the Palestinians. That's a war crime. Anger from the crowd. You are confused. Go deal with the war, this woman shouts. We came to help you. Came to help the cops by trying to deny aid to starving people. That's just insanity to think that she have the right to deny aid to starving people. Unable to cross here, the protesters try their luck in another area. But the authorities are just as quick to stop them. So the police are now really... Well, at least the Israeli police here are trying to do somewhat of the right thing, uh, though I would be surprised if they were ordered to do this, and most of the cops here would actually support uh, aid being denied to Palestinians. Really starting to lose their patience. They've been trying to push these protesters away for hours now, and still they're not leaving. <laughs> All they want to do is help murder innocent people. The crowd on this day is small, but their sentiment is shared by most people in the country. A recent poll by the Israel Democracy Institute found that 68% of Jewish Israelis oppose the transfer of humanitarian aid into Gaza. So 68% of Israelis want to watch kids die from starvation. And somehow they're the case. On the other side of the border, the situation could not be more dire. Seven-year-old Fadi al Sant is suffering from severe dehydration and malnutrition. Doctors at the Kamal Adwan Hospital say they don't have the resources to properly treat him. Yeah. Fadi's. This is just horrendous. People claim to be about life and stuff. And then they support a government starving kids. You can't claim to be about like the life of kids in your own nation while watching a government you support starve to death kids. His mother says she's already lost two children. But she doesn't want to lose him. According to Gaza's health authorities, at least 17 children have died of dehydration and malnutrition already. And with the UN warning that famine is just a step away, there is hardly room for debate. Yeah, uh, thousands upon thousands of kids are going to die from starvation.